last year, about this time, Showtime had contacted me to do an interview. I declined about twice. The call back and they said, call my shots, how much I wanted. They would pay me any amount to say lies about Jan and about the murder in San Pedro, which I have no knowledge about. I did some interviews for Showtime and some other company, but Showtime I actually told me what to say, and part of it, almost of most of it, was a lie. And and he was actually this type of person that would actually help people. He was a nice person. He. He loved animals, especially dogs, and and guns. But yeah, besides all of that, he was. I felt happy that I met him because he actually changed my world a little bit. Then <laughs> well, I did one interview with Showtime. Some of the stuff that I said was true, and some were lies. Uh, John McCaffrey, wherever you are, you are missed by me. And I know you moved on. I hope you have a wonderful life with your wife. And may God bless you in all that you're doing. And may he continue to protect and provide for you. As he's doing for us. Okay, do you know um, John McCarthy? Yes, of course I know John McCarthy because I work with him. Wonderful. Um, what kind of work you used to do with him? Well, my job with him was um, simple, bodyguard. Wonderful. So you know a lot about John. What type of person he well, was? John, I know, I want to say I know a lot about him in life and that. But as far as I work with him, he's a wonderful guy, man. I love working with and not an engineer, no, not an engineer, I call it, a pioneer. Because he built computer, computer and, and, and virus. And, and virus, yeah. Okay. So he's yeah, an engineer. Um, did anybody from Showtime came to do an interview with you? Yes, they came to me a couple of times back. I think it is yeah, last year, I can't quite remember, no? Right? But they came to me and they asked me, first they come and send somebody else, huh? but I didn't go with them, but they came themselves. Huh? And what, what, what they were asking you? What well, they were... they were asking me about, you know, life of John McCaffrey. They told me they work with John McCaffrey and this, and they want to get in for real with me and, and so on. They... What they wanted to know about John McCaffrey? Well, really about John McCaffrey, they want to know about him. Well, they believe, but mainly, I can't trust. They want to know about the killing days that they say that he perpetrated about the killing about the white boy and thing that in um, San Pedro. Hmm? Okay, so but, they were... But they... then, the way they talk to me, they want to put it to me that, yeah, that, that he did it, that for me to say, and I just told him, no man, I don't know. But as far as I know, Mr. John, he didn't do a, a thing like that. Huh? And they even asked me, so why he buried himself? Well, he's an adventurer man. Huh? Mm -hmm. Simple. And um, these people were paying you? Yeah, they were paying me. How much they paid you? They paid me $1,000. Okay. But the thing is, when I went into the interview with them, they have bears and things ready. So I said to myself, when he got bears and that, trust me, very scared. Well, I drink up a couple of bears and things, but for saying lies or so about Mr. John, never can happen. So what you would like to say to Mr. John? Well, Mr. John, I'd like to say to you, sir, when I was done and out, you helped me out, right? And me and the person to spread lies about you, not even in money, paying me to sell lies about you, I won't. 
and with me, Rasta. A good man is never honored in his own yard. Trust me. Thank you. I first met John in May, in May of 2011. Started working for him. I did like I did about a year, eight months with John. Um, he was one of uh, one of the few employers that I've had who really treated me like an employee. He was honest. He paid the right wages. Never trying to nickel and dime you. Um, I would like to say that beside myself and many other employees, we were really, really sad to see that he had to leave the country and leave all of us here. Um, he was like a benefactor to a lot of us by paying good wages, but also paying good wages, but demanding that you do a good job. Um, for the past year, I've been doing several interviews with different people. Um, but from what I've seen is that, especially Showtime, they, they wanted to sensationalize the interviews, probably, well I wouldn't even say probably because it was said to me that they want an interview that will attract viewers and once their ratings can go up through this interview, they were willing to pay me a reasonable amount of money. I accepted the money. And I improvised to make it sound sensational. I improvised by stating things that didn't even take place. Um, whoever is listening to this, put yourself in my shoe that um, you are living in a country, you've had a really, really good job, a really, really good salary, and then from one day to the next it's taken away from you. And then here comes a, a television network who is willing to pay to build up their ratings and I accepted. 90% of what I said in that interview with Showtime was only makeup. Makeup to sensationalize what they wanted. Um, I was the girl who escaped with him from Belize. We went to Guatemala where my uncle helped him to get him out of the country which he is now located at the US. Um, I did a bunch of interviews and um, people paid me for the pictures and stuff so I took the money because I needed it and like I said in all interviews I just say what I knew but everything is just a lie and I just did it for the money because I needed the money. But I used to um, I used to be the backup dri um, taxi driver for Mr. John McCarthy. As far as I am concerned, he was an excellent guy, very nice, used to pay us every, every run, never owed us. And uh, yes, we got interviewed by a couple news medias and they've kind of forced us to say what they feel like was the, the, the right thing to say. But as far as I'm concerned, everything I said to them was previously a lie. You know, Belize is a poor country and uh, we needed a little bit of money, so I took whatever opportunity I had and make some money out of it. So, Mr. John, thank you very much. I used to live with him on Zoo Fort and they had some people that came on, on from some show time and they were insisting me to say a lie that John killed the white man in San Pedro, which is it is a lie. John would have never do that and they keep on forcing me to say that he did it. But which is he didn't do it and I believe so because he was a good man. John. And a respectful man. They were insisting yes that he did the murder and I told them no, he didn't do it. Why would you say he didn't do it? Because the type of person he is kind, loving and caring, he would never do something like that. And there were some people down here um, of Showtime. They were forcing me to say lie that John McAfee killed the white man, but I know John is not that kind of person. He's a kind, loving person. And I doubt he would, I know he would never do that. 
Um, okay, and these people were paying you to say that. Yeah, these people were paying me to say lie about John McAfee, but I know he would he would never do that. And how much they were paying you guys? They were paying me seven hundred dollars. Okay. To do the interview. John and I were very, very good, good, good friends. That you know, thanks to him, he developed the tourism flights. Chuck Tropic here start flying into Orange Drag, starting doing Lama Night tours, as well as as with Maya Island here. But me and John, you know, John was so very, very loving and caring, and he was also very helpful for the whole entire country of Belize. He had so many good friends with him. He never did have a problem. This problem with Greg Fall, it so happened that, you know, everybody's trying to blame John for this murder that was, 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 was happened in San Pedro. John is not that type of person, you know, that would be doing such things. John had money. He is a pioneer in the in the software, John McAfee software, antivirus, and John doesn't has no intention of killing that old can, uh, old, old guy, Mr. Greg Fall. Mr. Greg Fall had an alcoholic problem. He was really, really, really into the drugs and drinks. He was drunk every day because I was living in in in, in San Pedro in the coast where John had his apartments his house and every day I would see this Mr. Greg Fall passing junk you know and he will always be cursing he had a problem with everyone up in our in in the course suddenly this guy died you know this guy he was going through a divorce with his wife so nobody knows who killed that guy but to me honestly I was with John and John will never do such thing with a television crew they, they, they were paying everybody that ha had close relationship with John to see things that you know negative things about John they were trying to get information they were paying uh, uh, some some workers some of John's girlfriends so that they would talk bad about John you know so that they could take that interview f for their investigation but Really and honestly, these guys they came here and they, they were paying up to two thousand dollars, three, four, five thousand dollars for an interview so that they could collect negative things about John McAfee. And how much they had to offer you? They came here and they offered me five thousand dollars, and I refused it. I told them, no, no, I'm not into the, to, to, to selling no one for money because that's not my thing. I know John as an honest and genuine. And a genius person, John would never commit such a crime. And so, and I, I reject these guys. I told him, no, no, I don't, I don't think I need your money, because I would never sell someone for. Yes, there was like two occasions where different set of people, you know, from the U.S. came in and wanted to speak with me, but um, I deny their request because they were, you know, pinpointing certain points that they wanted me to agree with um, on their interview but was uh, not true so I didn't do it you know and they were offering me very you know handsome and um, large amount of money so but I knew it wasn't true so I I couldn't agree to something that's not true when you're saying they were um, wanted you to say uh, lies um, that's what you were saying it was uh, concerning what well it was concerning uh, murder of a guy in San Pedro that they were accusing John of and you know that's what they wanted information on but I knew John didn't do it and I didn't have any information concerning that and but they were paying enough you know very handsome amount of money to just to agree to what they were saying you know but I didn't do it because I know it wasn't true and what they were bringing or saying it's uh, you know total nonsense it wasn't realistic because it's a total set of bullshit. Okay, so what, what, what figures